the Jubar J is a 5 star light axe unit that made his debut in the Time Worn Torment event, alongside other characters which are inspired from the novel Journey to the West. He can be obtained from the Gala Leaf Summon Pool or from the Permanent Summon Pool after the Gala. He is the first light berserker style unit, hitting harder as his HP decreases, which is reflected in his skills and abilities. His first skill, Bursting Fury, deals one hit of 852% damage to enemies in front of him, and inflicts stun with 110% chance. Costing 2800 SP, this skill hits hard for relatively low SP, but that's not all. The damage output of the skill increases as his HP decreases, up to 1917% damage at maximum. This hits like a truck, so make sure his HP is low prior to activating his skill. Fortunately for him, his second skill allows him to reach that low HP requirement. The name of the skill is, Macho Charge, with a cost of 5600 SP. This skill buffs his own strength by 20% for 10 seconds, when his HP is lower than 30%. If his HP is equal or higher than 30%, the skills drops his HP to 20% of his total HP, and gives him a shield, that basically gives a middle finger at any single damage, that is less than 80% of his maximum HP. On top of that, this skill makes him unhealable for 10 seconds, and the shield can stack with ordinary shields. That last part is important, as during that 10 seconds he is vulnerable to attacks that hits very hard or hits multiple times. A notable shield that works perfectly with him is Grace's life shield. Another thing to point out is that, if his HP is equal to above 30%, the reduction of HP would not grant him the 20% strength buff, unless his HP is already below 30% prior to activating this skill. Next is his co-ability. His first co-ability, 15% defense buff, is standard to most tax units in the game. His chain co-ability, 10% shadow resistance when equal or exceed 10 hits, isn't impressive at all, especially for Barge, since he attacks slowly. For his abilities, his first one is, Rampaging Boar. Cleverly named, as he is depicted as a boar slash pig in the novel. The ability gives him a unique force strike, which deals 20% more damage to paralyzed foes, and has 3 charge levels. Additionally, he is immune to knockback when charging his force strike. The amount of damage the force strike deals, is shown in this table, with a maximum of 384% damage multiplier. This makes him distinct from other axe units, as he can use this to dash like sword and blade units. The Paralyzed Punisher that this ability brings is a nice bonus, as many recent light units have the ability to paralyze. His resistability is 100% curse resistance, which is preferred when battling high zodiac. His last ability is Resilient Defense, granting a 10% strength buff up to 3 times when his HP drops to 30%, which suits his berserker playstyle. For equipment, Barjay's optimal setup would be focusing on his skill and force strike damage. In the Wimprint slots, Mega Friends is the best pick, since it has skill damage and force strike damage buffs. Other usable Wimprints include Here Come the Sealers, The Lurker in the Woods, Kung Fu Masters, and Stellar Show. Dear Diary is a decent option, just for its resilient offense. Spirit of the Season is a usable option, assuming that you have teammates that can inflict paralysis. For weapon, definitely the High Jupiter Axe. Alternatively, the 5 star Imperial Axe or even the Void Nidhogg Axe, if you want to fight High Zodiac. For dragons, Core Saint Phoenix of Paralysis support is available, Cupid for strength buff, Takamakaza Chief for overdrive damage buff, Lindworm for budget strength buff, if you have none of the above. Now you know how to use Barge. Go out there and rush hordes of enemies with your force strikes, hitting them with the force of a speeding anime truck. This is the first video I made with this format, inspired by fan content from the world of warships and Azalane communities. I hope videos like this would work on my channel in the long run. That's all from me. Moga out.